Net pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight. Launch auto sequence seven, has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. Vehicle is supersonic. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon, separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing lakes have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And lift off of Starlink 435, go south and nine. Stage one, chamber pressures are nominal. And with that successful liftoff of our Starlink satellites and on our Falcon 9 vehicle, power and telemetry nominal, from Space Launch Complex 40, lifting off at 7.32 p.m. Eastern Time. Falcon 9 is supersonic. So with that call, we have Falcon 9 now traveling faster than the speed of sound. Seeing a great shot of the engines on the first stage. Next and that call out there indicating we are po through the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure, the highest stresses that the vehicle will feel during ascent. Now coming up in about a minute, we'll have three events happening back to back. The first of those is main engine cutoff, where we'll shut down all nine of the Merlin 1D engines on the first stage followed by stage separation, and then second engine start on the second stage. And a great view of the First stage there, now we're looking up at the second stage. And Miko. Stage separation. Invac ignition. Fantastic, so main engine cutoff, stage separation, and Merlin separation vacuum. Confirmed. As well as the grid fins on the first stage deploying. And there was fairing deploy as well. You can see those fairing halves on the left-hand side of your screen. Now we will be attempting to recover both of those fairing halves. Both of them are, both of them are for their fifth and fourth flights. We just had a glimpse there of the sun reflecting off those fairing halves. There you can see the fairing halves reflecting some sunlight as we're heading up to orbit. Left-hand dot is the engine on the Merlin vacuum. I believe the middle object is our first stage, and then the fairing halves around it. T 
seeing some periodic nitrogen gas bursts on our first stage as it's reorienting for its next major activity, which will be the entry burn. On the right-hand side of your screen, we've got our Merlin vacuum engine continuing to burn as it's taking our 52 Starlink satellites to orbit. Today's mission does mark SpaceX's 181st launch overall. The, Acquisition of signal Bermuda. the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen has previously supported three missions, SES-22 and two previous Starlink missions, today marking its fourth. And you can see that its speed and altitude are fairly stable. It's arcing its way back to planet Earth to attempt a landing. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can actually see the curvature of planet Earth behind our Merlin vacuum engine. Now, as a reminder, we are flying Starlink satellites today, and Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed and low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations around the globe. We are currently live in 47 markets around the world. You can see the sunlight reflecting off our first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Its next major activity coming up, that'll be the start of its entry burn to prepare it for atmospheric re-entry and slow down. Stage one entry burn startup. So for this burn, we are igniting three of the Merlin engines, which helps slow down the first stage. Stage one entry burn shut down. As we stage start hitting the top. As we start hitting the top of the Earth's atmosphere. Now from here on, we've got enough atmospheric force where those grid fins that we saw deploy earlier will help guide the first stage towards our drone ship. Trajectory. Second stage burn continues to look nominal. Stage two, FTS is saved. Pico. Stage one, transonic. With that, the first stage is transitioning through the speed of sound. And its next major activity will be the landing burn. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage one landing burn. Startup of just a single Merlin vacuum engine. We'll see landing leg deploy as well shortly. And also keep an ear out here for second stage engine stage cutoff. One landing leg deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. So with those two callouts and a great shot from the drone ship, we've got confirmation of our second stage in the nominal orbit. And our first stage, Falcon 9, has landed, marking the 143rd landing of an orbital class rocket.
This marks our 43rd launch of 2022. And there were a couple of callouts there as well for nominal orbit insertion. So that means that the second stage is right where we want it to be carrying those 52 Starlink satellites. So with all of those confirmations, we're going to wrap up our launch coverage. If you're interested in following along, we'll have our nets live on YouTube. And be sure to check out our social media accounts for confirmation of Starlink deploy. Thanks a bunch for joining us this weekend, and we'll see you again real soon.